hello everybody and welcome to the video today i want to show you how i created this uh, cool looking um, waterfall grass animation in blender and using particle system in blender so um, come along watch the video and yeah let's uh, get going so what we have here is pretty simple scene um, First of all, we have a plane, uh, which, you know, just a simple plane. Um, I just extruded this edge up and then used a bevel modifier to get this smooth um, edge. And then I imported some assets from Quixel Megascans like let me show real quick. I just wanted some high quality and look good looking rocks so that everything will be very very sharp and realistic as possible and as well a couple of spheres you know just for artistic purposes and yeah so what else we have a bunch of lights um, if I go to camera preview mode, I have here um, some cameras, not only one, but this is the main main camera. And then what we have, we have let's you know what, let's turn off all of the lights. I have here a light collection. Then let's turn off all the lights. So yeah. So first light, let's see a point light. So this is the light from this side, this is right here, so it highlights uh, this side of th this rock mainly. And let's turn on the other light over, let's see what it is, yeah this is on, from the top, yeah this is from the top just for soft light and general lighting for the whole scene. And finally, we have basically our, our main light. I have this rectangle light here that gives me um, all the important light to the scene. And now for the main thing uh, of this animation, which is uh, basically the particle system. Um, what we have here is this um, sphere, just a simple sphere, uh, which is uh, the emitter for our particles so I created a, a sphere and it doesn't have to be a, a high poly or something like this just a simple sphere and I created two particle systems um, I mean you can go with one but I encountered some uh, obstacles with different uh, type of grass and flowers so I ended up with two particle system but you can completely go with only one particle system so anyway create an emitter and then go to the particle system click on the plus icon over here and you can name your particle system whatever you, you want uh, I call mine grass and flowers so as for the grass right now I cannot click on anything because it is already baked but anyway I want to show you real quick um, so in the emission you can control the number of the uh, like the amount of particles um, as for uh, of course frame start and end you, uh, depends on the length of the animation that you want to play and lifetime the lifetime number should be uh, the exact exact same number as the end um, otherwise the animation like the particle system won't stay to the last frame so the same number and then scrolling down uh, to the rotation um, to add more realism to the scene you can like enable the rotation and choose velocity here and you can even uh, check dynamic so that you can get more randomness and uh, realistic layer to the scene and maybe the most important thing to this animation is this right here physics type 
under physics you have physics types and here you need to choose fluid all the other options just it won't show you the desired um, fluid and you know waterfall ish results so make sure you're choosing fluid and in order to get the you know the look like water or something like this mess yeah, you can play around with mess you can i just um i just leave this as default so i want to show you this um, real quick not just talk about it so let me just go to cache and just delete all bakes so that i can you know actually play around with all this stuff so let's see let's play around a bit with uh, let's play the animation and let's see what we're having here so right now if i play around with uh let's say stiffness let's see first of all you know what physics types so um i think the default is newtonian so see what happens when i choose this it just doesn't look exactly the same i mean it's looking nice actually surprisingly but not the same not as good as fluid does so you can see at the bottom here that the uh the grass doesn't spread over the entire um uh, floor yet it should like okay, imagine you are um, pouring honey over this um, plane it should spread slowly but it should it should spread and this is just piling up on each other on um on top of one another and just not acting like fluid so let's run it back choose again fluid and now it is much smoother and it will uh, you know glide off those rocks and spread all over the the plane the ground plane so this is for the physics type now stiffness viscosity and buoyancy i don't know if i saying if i'm saying this correctly but um, anyhow buoyancy so stiffness let's see what happens so stiffness if i play around with stiffness let's uh, take it to i don't know two or something so you see what happened it, it's less stiff so the higher the number um the crazier it will look so let's do i don't know five yeah this is crazy no so we don't want that let's keep it on um, point one it depends also very important it depends on the scene it depends on you know your scale and um, object in your scene so play around with those numbers don't be locked on my numbers of course um viscosity uh this is you know like um for example water is less ha has less viscosity than honey um so yeah i just left this uh, at zero and buoyancy i just want to show you real quick what buoyancy does let's say something like this no maybe something higher like two yeah so everything just float up floating up just like um bubbles in water so we don't want that in our example um and again uh, brownie and dragon damp you can play around with this until you get your desired uh, results it controls the um thickness of the fluid and the um you know uh, if you want it to be fast or slow like let's do a damp i think let's do something like this now this is very 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 slow and if i lower it down to something like this is much faster so just playing around with it i want to bring it back to what it was and let's see um so now for the let's go to let's go to render yeah render so render as you can choose um if you are like this example if you want to you know pour a 
certain objects like like mine like uh, flowers or grass or whatever you should choose object or collection so in my case i have uh, again two particle system one for the grass and one for, for the flowers so i have in one collection for the um, grass particle system i have in one collection a foliage and in second um, some you know three variants of flowers so i just choose uh where is it here i choose collection and then i chose foliage one which is uh, which i'm um, containing my grass assets and usually i just i leave it that way in the scale uh factor and i i don't mess around with this one i only if i want to control my scale my scale of my object i just go to the object itself and play around with this scale so this is looking very very big but in the actual animation it's looking correctly it's looking like uh right so again play around with it however you want what works for you and let's see what else so yeah uh you don't have to play around with children it, it has nothing to do with our case and that's all the um, settings for the particle system which is the main thing basically and yeah you can do uh, whatever like um, you choose different kind of flowers I chose those three let me show you yeah I chose those I think they're looking um, I mean, very cool Right now, this is with no lights. Let's see. Yeah, looking nice. I played around with their scale, so if I play it again, why they are not showing here? Let's see. Maybe in the part. Of, yeah, the particle system of the flowers are off. So let's turn it on and let's run it again. Yeah. So I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do the flowers pretty small and pretty random. So yeah, and yeah, after I I finished with my uh, particle system, I move along to add some cameras. So what I did was, um, I added three cameras one is the main camera which is that one and let's for a second let's turn off um where is my meter yeah let's turn off the particle system so things run a little smoother so this is the main angle and i uh sometimes edit um, my animation in Premiere Pro uh, just uh, for example in this shot in this main shot I wanted to start from the from you know something like this and slowly um, take my camera uh, backwards you know to add some uh, effect uh, drama effect I could have done it in Blender but I didn't thought about it so I had to do it in Premiere after the fact. And as for um, the the second and third cameras, so the second camera is that one, and this is pretty cool. I and I you know uh, added some depth of field, focused on this sphere, and if I play the animation, yeah, this is what happens. So this is the second one, and then this is the third one is again some you know depth of field action just uh, you know to add some more realism to the scene and you know stuff like this and, and this is the camera this is the depth of field the movement pretty nice i combined all um you know the three uh three cameras in premiere pro and created the whole clip and yeah i mean this is it uh, fairly simple scene again only 
a plane, some imported assets from Megascans. Um, those assets again, those are let's see, uh, those are some really high quality assets like uh, 8K textures. Uh, pretty heavy, but this is a simple scene, like uh, it doesn't really uh, tasking for uh, my PC. So this is cool and very, you know, uh, sharp and clean looking assets. And you can do uh, whatever you can, um, you know, do it. Uh, uh, pour your grass or whatever you want, particle system on on top of any object basically so uh, yeah this is it good luck with your uh, attempt doing it and um, thanks of course for anyone uh, who reached this far thank you for watching you know make sure you uh, subscribe and like the video and um, uh, you know leave a comment if you want to say anything that will help me a lot so thank you guys, bye.